It's 11.30 p.m. right now, and I'm about to tell you what my current 2024 plan for cold calling is. This is my strategy. This is how I plan to make $300,000, $400,000 a year off of uh, cold calling. And this was actually taken from my friend Alex, Alex Bradshaw. I literally just copied his strategy because it was working really well for him. So um, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, as a thank you to Alex, if you're watching this, I want you to go to his Instagram and uh, message him. Thank you, King Glaze. Thank you, Glaze King. Message him that as a thank you. Um, he's great. You should follow that guy. So this is the strategy, all right? My current 2024 cold calling strategy is... Dial all day. I'm gonna dial all day. That's literally it. Circle prospecting all day, except, except here's a twist. I'm doing this with an ISA. For $6 an hour, you can hire a Filipino guy to dial for you. So while you're dialing, you got a guy in the Philippines also dialing. Of course, you got to train him. You got to monitor him. But his goal is to bring me one to two hot leads a day. And for him and I, we define that as someone that wants to sell their home in one to two years. Okay, I need eight of those a week from him. From, just from him. He needs to bring me eight of those a week. Um, the goal is to bring on more ISAs so I can have more of these people dialing and generating these seller leads for me. Um, these ISAs are typically calling 30 hours a week. Costs like, what am I paying him? I'm paying him $180 a week to give me eight hot seller leads a week. And I'm giving him a 3% commission off of what I earn, off, off my commissions per closing. So they're incentivized to do this, all right? The goal is to get like three ISAs by the end of the year. Because like one ISA is paid for three times over uh, with one sale. So like it's totally worth it. In fact, I've been working with my ISA for two months. I've already got a $1.5 million listing. I've ha I have several, I have several opportunities l lined up for me. So it's just a matter of me and my high conversion rate to close these people and sell these homes. So dialing all day, having an ISA dial for six hours a day, multiple ISAs dial six hours a day, and they're all doing it on a 10 line dialer. <sighs> I keep talking about it. I'm telling you that I'm gonna make a tutorial on it. And if actually, check in the link description below, in the, check in the description below. I may have the 10 line dialer out, tutorial out. It's something called call tools. I have the affiliate link down below. Um, this 10 line dialer is insane. Again, thank you, Alex Bradshaw. DM, go DM him. Thank you, Glaze King. Thank you, King Glaze. Thank you, Alex Bradshaw, the Pro Glazer. I really like the 10 line dialer because number one on Mojo, you can buy a Mojo voice number for 10 bucks, but it's just one number. And that number is going to become spam likely because you're dialing so much. With a 10 line dialer, you can buy as many lines as you want. I currently have purchased for me and my ISA, I, I'm, we're, splitting four, we're, splitting, we're splitting 40 phone numbers. And each no phone number has a daily call limit of 75 dials per line. So in the span of a day, what is that? 75 times 40. I can dial 3,000 phone numbers between me and my ISA. Um, so we can dial all day and not come up as spam likely, which is great. I don't want to be spam likely. I want a high pickup rate. So the 10 line dialer is just a dialer. It's not like Mojo where it's, it has all the data integrated in it, in it with everything. 10 line, the, 10, the call tools is just the dialer. So I need data. And the data I'm using is call information. And I really like call information because it gives you accurate data and you can get it, 
you can get the phone numbers of the head of household, the male head of household, the confirmed homeowner, um, someone that's owned the house for more than five years. Like you can narrow down in the criteria of the phone numbers you get from call information. So you can just like put in a zip code and just get all the homes above a certain price point, above a certain length of residency, like length of ownership. Um, you can just get the confirmed head of households, the male uh, husband figure of the house. Like you can really get specific on coal information. The problem with Mojo's uh, circle prospecting, like the neighborhood search, is that per per lead, you per home, you get five phone numbers. And the problem with that is like the homeowner has just has one number. You know, it's their cell phone. You want their cell phone number. <laughs> You don't want their landline. You don't want the wife because they usually never make the decision. You don't want their son who's out of the house and like grown up. You don't want to talk to that guy. You don't want to talk to like sometimes like it's going to be like the neighbor for some reason or the child's dentist. Like Mojo gives you five numbers per household. The household probably doesn't have five people living in there. I just want the confirmed head of household. Everyone else is a waste of time. Like, I don't need five phone numbers per home. I just need one. I just need the man that bought the house. All right? And I'm not saying women can't buy homes. It's just statistically. The man bought the home. And if, if there's a man and woman, woman involved, the lady is probably not going to make that final decision on their investment without consulting the husband. So, like, it's never, it's almost never the case of like, oh yeah, oh yeah, um, we, we want to do this. Oh yeah, no, we don't have to talk to the husband. Yeah, let's set up that meeting right now. <laughs> it's usually, uh, I gotta talk to my husband about this. I don't want that. <laughs> The only time that, man, I'm, I'm rambling about this. The only time that really happens is when the husband is uh, passed away and the lady is widowed. Then she's making all the financial decisions. Or if the husband is that much of a weak man. Anyway, so that's call information. If you want call information, I have an affiliate link for call information, $200 off. Um, it's in the link below. I'll also make a tutorial on that. In fact, by the time you're watching this, the tutorial is probably already route, already out. Just check below in the description. <clears throat> so with my nice, clean information, uh, by the way, cold information does not have expireds. It's just circle prospecting. It's neighborhood search. With my nice, clean information and my 10-line dialer with the 40 phone numbers I bought, you don't need to buy 40 numbers. That's really only if you got two people really dialing all day on call tools. I got my ISA, my goal is to get more ISAs, and my, honestly, now that I'm running the academy, it's a little harder to dial all day. You know, I got appointments to go on, I got meetings to go on, um, but I'm really trying to extend my schedule as much as I can. Um, and that's exactly where this ISA leverage becomes really useful because once you run out of time in the day, you need to be able to buy more time. And, to, and, and, and the way you buy more time is to buy someone else's time and have him do what you, want, what you need to be doing so, or you want him to be doing. So while you're running your business, you have others that you pay for doing the things that you want him to be doing. Now, if you're going to be doing this, you want a high conversion rate because a high conversion rate is your ability to convince someone to meet with you and then work with you. And if your conversion rate's not high, then you're just losing opportunity. You are literally just letting money slip out from your fingers. Why would you want that? You wanna be able to catch every opportunity that comes your way. And that comes with a high conversion rate, being able to squeeze out every single opportunity possible really wringing that towel of every last drop if you want to have that high conversion rate you need to join the conversion academy and learn my framework of conversion because this is going to teach you exactly how to squeeze out every single appointment possible in fact 
okay, so you're gonna you're gonna learn how to have um, early objection handlers and then handle late objection handlers um, in the psychology of that. And you can actually listen to um, my example cold calls where I break down calls like my perfect circle prospecting call analysis or a basic circle prospecting call breakdown or setting an appointment after three no's, appointment set from circle prospecting. Like you need to learn how I do this. In fact, when during our role play sessions, um, which is uh, something we do every Monday and Wednesday for the uh, for the academy members, we I record it all and post them in there. And then of course, when you get the appointment, you need to make sure that you know how to sell them. So you need to learn how to sell the seller emotionally. You need to learn how to sell the seller logically and then handle any objection to, to tighten down any loose ends. So you need a high conversion rate, but also you need great follow-up. You know, 99% of these people are just not going to be ready to make a move anytime soon, anytime near the near future, anytime, anytime near the near future. So you need the ability to stay on their ass, but also the point of a follow-up is to either get a time update or set the appointment. It should never just be like a little check-in call. Um, you should be able to set the appointment off that follow-up call, and if you can't, it's just gonna be a time update. You need to be careful that you're not checking, checking, doing those check-in calls. Hey, you're gonna move in six months, right? Okay, anything I could do for you now? No, okay, all right, talk to you in six months. Hey, you're gonna call, you're gonna move in five months. Um, just checking in, anything I could do for you now? No, okay. Hey, you're gonna move in four months, anything I could do for you? Like that, you are being such a bother, you are being such a loser. And you need to be able to figure out how you can meet with them, how you can, you need to figure out how you need to be of value to them to where you have the ability to meet with them six months before the move even happens. You wanna be that guy because that, if you could do that, you now have the ability to steal clients from, uh, well, to steal leads from other agents who can't do that. And this is what I teach you in the closers follow-up. In fact, there's this guy in my town, um, he's a title guy and he, you know what? Here, here's a little treat. I'm gonna play this video for you. I wonder how long it is. It's three minutes long. Let's, let's, let's watch it. If you're watching this one, you could skip this, but this is like an extra video that I wanted to make. There's a guy that works at a, he's a sales rep at a title company nearby, and he gives me the worst follow-up calls. It's like, hey, Aaron, it's me over at uh, Title. How you doing? Dude, I just wanted to check in on you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I am too. I just wanted to see that, uh, you know, that you're doing okay and I mean, I, 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 and a minute goes by, which is so, so long. Uh, a whole he spends a whole minute like with his intro and asking me how I am, and like I'm like, what what's going on, dude? I'm prospecting right now. What do you want? Get to the point. What do you want? What problem are you gonna solve for me? And he, he's not here to solve any problem. So he taught me to never pick up his calls. And today, of course, he calls and. Obviously, I don't answer the phone. This is the message he sends me. I want you to listen to this. Good morning, Aaron. How are you doing? This is Hector calling with First American Title. Briefly checking in. Quiet Monday morning. Well, hoping you're having a fantastic day. And Aaron, I always like to try to make my... All right, it's been 15 seconds. He's wasted all that time. Didn't get to the point. I don't want to listen to this. In fact, I didn't. I didn't listen to this. I didn't listen to any of this. I don't know what he says. Uh, but I wanted to play this for you to show you how terrible of a follow-up call is. I I'm not gonna call him back. He's not here to solve any problem of mine. He's here to waste my time. In fact, <laughs> I'll stop right there. I'm not even gonna blur his name. Dude, do a better job. I'm sure he's a great guy. Just not really of value to me. In fact, he's negative value to me. He's wasting my time. So you need to have great follow-up. And if you want to learn what that looks like, join the Academy.
Next part of my 2024 cold calling strategy is cool music. Guys, you need music that's gonna hype you up. And for me, I don't know about you, but I just can't listen to music with words in it while I work, because I just get so distracted. So I'm listening to, bruh, you ever listen to the freaking, um, first of all, if you've ever played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, soundtrack goes dummy hard. It's insane. This one or the final boss. Hey, the story to this game, the entire time I was just going like, when I was fighting the final boss and I was reading like, you know, the story was unfolding, the entire time I'm just going crazy, crazy game, such a good game. But I'm, I'm, I'm listening to music like this or I'm, I'm listening to It's midnight. It's Friday, 11.43 p.m., July 5th. So hard. Incredibly hard. Or the Colgara theme of Tears of the Kingdom. So sick. What? Like the, the, the fight for this, insane. The, probably the coolest Zelda game I've ever played. So guys, you need, cool, you need cool music to hype yourself up. Feel free to go listen to those songs that I've recommended you. So this is pretty much my 2024 cold calling strategy. If you have any questions about it, you can drop it down Drop down uh, a, uh, your question in the comments below. You can DM me on Instagram. If you want to join the Academy, you should absolutely do so. If you want to join my coaching program and work directly with me, you could sign up for the Accelerator, hop on a Zoom call, and we can talk. This plan was all thanks to Alex Bradshaw. Again, go follow him and shoot him a message from me. Send him a message. Thank you. Thank you, King Glaze. Thank you, Alex Bradshaw, Pro Glazer. Thank you. Um, tell him I sent you. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.